Hi guys. So today I'm going to do a um, try on slash review uh, for the QVC A Cosmetics uh, New Year Your Most Beautiful Skin um, 5 piece set which is right here. I've already um, opened it but I'm going to go ahead and um, show you guys me wearing the products. So I went ahead and um, zoomed in on my camera. Hopefully you guys can see me because I'm by myself so I don't know if it's perfectly on my face but I wanted to zoom in so you guys can see what exactly I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to start off with the CC Plus um, uh, eye cream and then dot. Oh, I, think, I don't know if that's too much. <laughs> that might be too much but I do have dark circles. I don't know. And then after that you just smooth it. And then I'm going to use my finger I'm going to use my um, pinky. Yeah, I think instead of three dots, I should do just two because this is a lot. Hi, Scorpy. My cat is like right next to me. I don't think you guys can see him, but he's next to me. No, this is very creamy. I like it. It's not like I've had other concealers. And I, what I don't like about concealers, especially under eye ones, is that they're like thick. And so it ends up, once I put the finishing powder or whatever, it ends up looking very cakey. And this doesn't seem like that consistency. So that's a plus, a big plus. I think it's good coverage. Um, I don't think my eyes are, my, bleh, my dark circles look very much um, anymore. So I like that. The next step, uh, I'm going to use this, the CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream, which will be like my foundation. I'm going to go ahead and use a sponge since it's very cute and it came on here. So as you guys saw, this is a sponge. I went ahead and did two pumps, I believe. So um, they recommend you only need one, but we'll see. Um, No, I don't like the sponge. the The way it's like rubbing on my skin, I'm just I just know I'm gonna look scaly. So I'm gonna end up having to use the brush because um, I don't think you guys can see, but um, yeah, I just know once I put the foundation on, it's gonna be very scaly. So I'm just gonna use the brush, even though I didn't want to use it, but that seems to be the only way to. Um, Avoid that. That's what I don't like about. Sorry, I only got in my mouth. Um, sponges and rubbing, especially if you have like dry skin, it's it's just not good at all. So I went ahead and did another pump since you sh the first two I basically wasted on the sponge. It has this smell to it, like um, a spa. If you guys have uh, used their serums, kind of like that, like a piney kind of smell. I don't know how to describe it. So that was two pumps, so I like that. That was, <laughs> that's very, very nice. The, the coverage seems very, very good. Um... It does give like a kind of dewy look, uh, which isn't my favorite because I am, you know, I, like my T-zone gets oily. So yeah, I like the coverage a lot. Like obviously they said you can use way more and um, this is what the um, dispenser looks like. So obviously it's nice though because you can clean it off and then for your second use. So I like that, but I just want to show how it looks. Um, the next product I'm going to use, the CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. So unlike my first one that I got, um, 
Sorry if I blind you guys. Unlike my first one, it doesn't have the eight cosmetics. It just has the, um, it's just, you know, plain on there, which it's nice because I, I hated getting rid of the eight cosmetics. I don't know. I'm weird about that. So I'm going to go ahead and swirl. So it's on my, pro on my, br uh, on my product, on my brush. So I'm going to do it on half my face first to see how it controls the, uh, Shininess. And I do like the Celebration Foundation one. Um, but like I said, I had gotten a light. Uh, sorry. F there is a fair and a light. And I had gotten a light. Because when I had ordered in QVC, they had run out of the medium, unfortunately. Which tends to happen. Um, so this is with already putting the powder. And this one's without. As you can see, this one definitely looks more dewy and this is look this looks more matte but you can still see you know some shininess on there so it's not completely like you know flat so I like that so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face oh I don't know if you guys can see that but the brush um, has another hair that's come off I that's very very disappointing because the other one I've gotten from them it never shed it has, it still hasn't shed and I've used it many and many a times so I don't know if it's just this new brush that sucks um I don't know I, I maybe I must have gotten a bad one I don't know but that's very upsetting because I was so excited this is one of the products I was excited about but I don't know if you guys got this, let me know if you got your brush is shedding so I know if it's mine or if I just got a bad one. I don't know. It was very disappointing. Jamie, please send me a new one. <laughs> I act like if she watches videos on here. <laughs> so I just finished my face. Now I can see that under my eye I have like these lines of product that was like built up from the other I don't know if I just didn't blend it out enough because I did put a lot of product but I wanted to note that so I'm gonna go ahead and take my hand and I don't know if you guys saw the line there but I have one here too um so yeah but overall I like the coverage I like I obviously didn't use any cream and I feel like my my skin doesn't look that amazing. Like close up, you would be able to see all the like not the imperfections, but like um like the pores and the scaliness of it. Just because I do need cream, so that's one of the things um, I would recommend for you guys. If you guys are like me, you definitely are gonna have to use cream, even though it says that the um, the cream has uh, the foundation cream. Uh, dispenser does have cream it's just it's not it, it, you're still gonna need it if maybe you were uh, more oily then I think maybe you will be fine but if you're a dry or maybe combination like me not gonna work oh I see another hair of the brush down here I was doing oh my gosh I just really hope well, it doesn't even matter if I got a bad one because I'm still stuck with this. But that's very, very annoying that this brush is not supposed to shed yet. It's shedding everywhere since I've gotten it. Since I did finish my face, I'm going to go ahead and use the last product, which is the CC Blurred Lines uh, Smooth Lipstick and um, the color Love. Now I did have powder on my lips, so this is the color um, with just my lips and the powder and then the lip. So I'm going to go ahead and finish them off. It's so creamy. I just want to roll it on my lips all day, all day long. It's very, very creamy. But it's very, very pretty. It's a nice pink color. I, I, I like it a lot. So this is my face with just um, all the eight cosmetic uh, products. But I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes. Um, and I'll be back in a little bit. 
So I just finished applying all my uh, my makeup, the rest of my makeup, which is mostly my eyes. Um, but the rest of the face and everything is all this uh, QVC set. Um, I did add some blush just because I felt like since I wasn't going to uh, contour, it just felt like really bland or something. I don't know. So I just, I did add a little blush, but that's about it. And everything else, it's this line. So I will say that when I was doing my eyes, I did notice that like the underneath my eyes, it was, um, I still kept getting like those lines of like the built up of the uh, product. I don't know if it was mostly the powder mixed in with the cream. I mean, the under eye concealer. Or if it was just like the concealer itself. But I just kept smoothing it out. And so far I haven't noticed it um, caking up again. But that's one of the things I don't like about it. That I did want to share with you guys. I am worried about the concealer on that. I will have to try it. Because I don't want to like just... Um, rely on this one trial that I've tried on so out of the five products these these three I really 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 love um I like it a lot these two are the ones that I'm mostly worried about just because the brush like I mentioned um as soon as I got it out the bristle some there was about like six bristles just like outside of the little tube that I had already shed and like I said they tell you that this brush isn't supposed to shed so that was already a precursor of what I was supposed to expect because once I was actually using it um, I noticed um, about two or three other bristles coming off so that's unfortunate um, I know people say like you're supposed to wash them before you use them but of course I wanted to use them right away for you guys but honestly I did the same thing to the last brush the first brush that I got from Make Cosmetics which is this one. I didn't I didn't wash it before I used it. And the bristles didn't come off. And since then I've, I've washed it. And like I've used it again. None of the bristles have come off at all. So I don't think that should be an excuse. For all the bristles to be coming off. But I am very disappointed about that. And uh, the concealer. I am worried about it caking up. Like I said. But I will have to try it more often. To see what I really feel about it. Um, these three products. I am very excited about. Like I said, the cream, yeah, this, the cream concealer, um, I do have to use cream and I will use a primer with it. I just don't trust that, um, well, I mean, like I can tell that I could see my pore, a, a little bit of my pores and mostly like the scaliness, like I said, because um, my T-zone, either it's really oily or it's really, really dry and I could see like around my, um, my nose and stuff like that, it's a little bit... Um, flaky and stuff like that so even though it says it has cream I'll still use cream with it and the lip color I absolutely love I love how it looks on me I think it looks great on every single different skin tone so I highly recommend so out of five products I really really love three and I'm still gonna give these two a good use so um I think this value uh, I got it for like about six dollars I think it's a good value for all of these um, items and um, so far my first impression is that I, I like them. Like I said, only those two that I'm worried about. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys got this set, let me know what your brush is like, if it sheds as much as mine because I don't know if I just got a bad one or if all of the, like this particular brush just sheds a lot so just let me know so i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash first impressions for it cosmetics thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye